Hey guys! Today we're making this itty bitty miniature squirrel in a peanut, so I really hope you'll enjoy. Just to have something to hold on to, I took a piece of wire and then I bent the end, which is what we're going to be sculpting the squirrel on. I first added some clay and then pre-baked and this is basically the body. I then added the head, arms and thighs as well as the hind feet. And I then pre-baked again before adding the toes and ears. I already have a hamster tutorial on my channel but the cool thing about this is that right up until the point where you add the tail, it's basically going to look like a hamster. So if you want to you can use this tutorial to make both hamsters and mice as well. If you have any questions about the tools and materials I use, I always link my FAQ in the info box and I also have a video on my other miniature channel which goes through most of the tools I use. It's up to you how many times you want to pre-bake, because the sculpture is so simple, you could do it all in one go. I do recommend adding some liquid clay to the toes and maybe even the ears, just to add some strength. After baking, I painted the belly using white acrylic paint just to give it a base color. And I then added the fur, which for this video is mostly milk protein fiber, and then I used some cruelty-free angora for the belly. And if you have any questions about the fur and hair I use, where I get it and what I use to attach it, I'll link my video about it in the info box. As always, you want to glue the fur on in small sections, then let the glue dry and trim off any excess. And this is where it really starts to look like a hamster. To make the base for the tail, I just glued on a strip of some cardstock. And the reason why I'm not using wire for this tutorial is just because the tail is so small and is going to be posed up against the back of the squirrel, so you don't really need the support of the wire. Once you're done, you can add some shading. I first added some shading using soft pastels just to give the entire squirrel a base color. And I then went in with acrylic paint and added the rest of the details.
Once you're done, you can seal it with a fixative and then you also want to add some gloss glaze to the eyes. Lastly, I just took a peanut and used my X-Acto knife to cut it open. I painted the inside using acrylic paint. And then glued on some fluffy fabric. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next tutorial.